Hello and welcome to Bolton Technical Training Centre. Our fantastic training centre is located on an operational wastewater treatment site here in Radcliffe near Bolton. As an internal apprentice you will spend time here learning from our technical training specialists throughout your apprenticeship. When you arrive here you'll be greeted by our receptionist who will welcome you to the centre and get you signed in. We understand it's a big centre, therefore we have labels on the floor to guide you to where you need to be. Throughout the centre we have training facilities with machinery replicating those you may work on at your base location. One of our current apprentices is going to tell you a little bit more about what he's getting up to. My name is Josh, uh, I'm doing Engineering and Mechanical Level 3. I started in uh, 2021 and I'm currently my third year going into my fourth. It's allowed me to move around and work in the area that I live in, so around Kendall. I also work in the Lake District as well. It's given me valuable experience as well as working alongside other engineers, which has given me the skills and experience I need to progress. It's also given me access to machinery that I wouldn't be able to normally use. It helps me develop my machining skills as well as other practical skills. It's also allowed me to meet other people and work with people from different backgrounds and different places. When I'm down at Bolton, I come down to make parts, practice machining. So it's like today I've been producing a shaft on the milling machine and will be used on site when the old one wears out. This will also help with the cost of placing components and parts. It also helps apprentices build the skills and knowledge when they're coming to make components for other areas. I would advise a lot of people would try apprenticeships and it helps you develop your skills towards like coming into a workplace rather than it's kind of like an intermediary step between from coming from schools or whatever background and then coming into a more of a workplace it just helps that transition. Let's take you around to the next area. Instrumentation is basically all of the brains behind the plants that we have on our treatment works. Let's chat to some apprentices to find out a little bit more. My name is James Hickey, I'm in my first year of my apprenticeship, I'm doing instrumentation engineering. My name is Alex Hickey, I'm in the third year of my apprenticeship and I'm doing instrumentation. I'd say the benefits for working for the company are like uh, private health. I'd set up as a job guarantee that at the end of it gives you a sense of secureness. Expenses are paid for. Another one would be that you get to further your education in engineering. I came in to do my monthly catch up with my tutor for my e portfolio. Yeah. Just like write ups about the jobs that you've been doing and answering questions on the stuff specific to your apprenticeship. I've been fixing my instrumentation board and just fixing the components on that. Keep up with work and focus. I'd say don't feel stupid asking any questions. Now we'll move on to the confined spaces area. This trains field based staff on how to correctly and safely work and crawl within small areas, similar to those they'll find on sites. Within our centre we don't just offer training to our apprentices, but we also train colleagues already working with us. There are also other courses going on here, such as Safe Working at Heights, where learners go through realistic simulations to prepare them for the real thing. Next we have our water area. Here we can service water network assets, practice operational techniques and simulate operational procedures. Here's another apprentice to tell you more. I'm Phil van der Hoeven, I'm a first year apprentice process controller. I never ever thought I'd be doing this job, but now that I've started it, I literally love it. You're learning stuff all the time and it's really, really interesting. Uh, there's so many different job opportunities. Um, you can go on a career pathway and work your way through the business or try something new if you fancy that. Today I've been cleaning the online instruments and doing some sampling on the water. These tasks allow me to replicate the jobs on my daily role and practice. 
For someone new starting the apprenticeship, I'd tell them to get stuck in and make sure you're asking lots of questions because that's the best way that you're going to learn. From the training team, we've had a lot of support and I feel like I've always got someone to ask questions to. And regarding the pastoral team, they're always there for a chat and they're just so helpful. I love working for United Utilities. I feel like I've made so many new friends and it's also close to home, which is handy. We're back to the water area now where we also train network apprentices. We have an apprentice here who's operating the Calm Network rig. Let's see what they have to say. Hi, my name's Ethan Young. I'm a first year apprentice, network technician. Some of the internal events which I've been to, like Blackpool One, where we got to know more what the company is as a whole. I got to meet more people with different roles. When I'm out with my trainers, how distributing the water throughout North Manchester, which is quite interesting for me. So today I have done a PMV service, which is down there, which is a pressure management valve, which reduces the pressure to help distribute water throughout the northwest, and also calm network training, which is also to help make sure our mains are all clean. My advice would be to be open and ask questions when needed because when I started I didn't know much and since doing the apprenticeship everyone's helped me when needed. I really like working for you because everyone I work with is really nice and welcoming. As you follow this door you'll find the chlorine area which again is another safety training course that we offer to the wider business. Chlorine can of course be quite a dangerous chemical that we work with to treat our water so we train lots of different people throughout the business. And just past this is the electrical area. It's time to hear from another apprentice. I am Ella Gaskell and I'm an electrical network asset engineer. I'm currently in year one of my apprenticeship and I started in September 2023. On site we often do preventative maintenance, fault finding leading to repairs, replacement and panel modifications to suit changes in site operations and equipment and we quite often do services. I like how I'm not stuck in an office and each day is different, so we have lots of different pumping stations within the Cheshire network, so each day we're at a different site. I also like how I started my pension early and that I can earn while learning. In the electrical, mechanical and instrumentation apprentices all spend the first year at Bolton, which means we get to know other apprentices on similar courses, as well as the ones on your course. While spending the first year at Bolton, we were given accommodation in the hotel along with a meal allowance. We stayed there Monday to Wednesday. On site we have a mentor and you can also speak to other members of your site and you can also get access to learning and pastoral support if you require it. If you don't know something while in Bolton, just ask. Even if you think it's a stupid question, you're probably not the only apprentice who is thinking it. And if you're on site, don't be embarrassed if you don't know something as you are on an apprenticeship to learn. As a training provider, we champion British values within the workplace. Through our double doors, you can find our company's purpose and values, as well as health and wellbeing support, which is offered alongside the help and support of our pastoral team. And of course, we have a coffee and vending machine, so you can grab a snack during your day. To the left here are our labs, which have some of the chemicals that we work with on sites. This allows our apprentices to complete site-specific experiments.
We also have an office where colleagues are based from in case of any pressing issues. It's time to hear from another apprentice. My name is Jared Willen, I'm an apprentice wastewater process controller and I work at Preston site. I've been working for United Utilities about, for about nine months now and I started in September 2023. What I enjoy about my apprenticeship is that I get to earn whilst I learn. University was an option to me, but rather than getting into student debts, I can achieve globally recognised qualification whilst gaining experience along the way. Another thing I enjoy is that I work local to where I live, so I know I can positively contribute to the local environment and serve my local community. I'm passionate about biology too, and I can work in that field whilst continuing to learn. Well, as well as my teacher at Bolton, I have a mentor on site who can teach me the hands-on jobs and show me the, val the valuable experience he's gained over the years. And we also get a lot of support outside of work for our mental and physical health. Um, and we get this through the private healthcare scheme. Um, it's called WPA. I've used this uh, personally for my rotator cuff injury. And thanks to the scheme, I got the, phys the physical therapy I need a lot quicker than if I went through the NHS. Well, this week I'm doing side visits to look at different processes and challenges that the sites face. Like tomorrow we're going to Liverpool to look at their process and what challenges they have. I've also taken a final effluent sample today at Bolton to ensure we keep our local rivers clean, which is in line with our strategic priorities. We've got multiple classrooms here at Bolton for your classroom related training. Some even have handy information on the walls detailing our water and wastewater networks. The next area we have on site facilities including showers. Last but not least, and you could say one of the most important parts of the training centre, is your breakout room. This is where our apprentices can go for a break, for lunch or just to make a brew. We have fridges, microwaves and of course somewhere to refill your water if you need to. Thanks for joining us on our virtual tour of Bolton Technical Training Centre and we can't wait to see you here soon.